but there I need to run over. Hold on. I'm not sure where you're up here somewhere. Where are you, mate? Not seeing you. You can see me. I don't think you're that far up the hill. You have to be like over here somewhere. Maybe inside the observatory? Ah, oh, no. Right there. Mate. Really? Alright, I'm going over towards the bridge because there'll be a lot of people probably trying to come over. A lot of people are going to be dead because uh, they won't make it into the zone. But anybody that does make it in, they'll probably come zipping in with a car. So that'll be a thing. I'm definitely fucking enjoying getting the old map. Like I said, I want to play it as much as I physically can while it's available because I really did. I enjoyed this. And when they changed it, I was sad. When they forced Mirama, I was sad. So getting to play the old one, getting to play it consistently, it's really nice. Kind of, I just wish I had a little bit more time to kind of burrow in on it. I'd play it for like two weeks non-stop if I could. Hmm, come on. There should be somebody around here. There should be somebody up the hill too. Like people usually come over the bridge and they go over this way. So there's always like, like this is open for instance. There's definitely somebody out here, I just don't know quite where. Sorry. I know where they are. Or at least I know where one of them are. Don't worry mate. Don't you worry, I'm coming over there. I thought you were outside, but I guess you're not. It was like out here somewhere. Where are you? I have a shotgun that kind of they are. <laughs> Jesus. I think somebody somebody's shooting at me. Up? Up or at a distance? Hold on. I would say back this way because I think they were taking aim at there you are. Yeah, I thought so. Couldn't see me once I started to drive off, could ya? Oh shit! Another bloke over there. Hi mate. I've got like fuck my girl life. I, I was gonna probably die when the line hit me but look at where it fucking stopped. What the shit? I heard him pretty bad too. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, so happily snuggling wolf plush. Oh if I can give you some parts. Give you some scratchies. Um... What's it gonna test? I don't remember. I was gonna test something. Um, I guess like, yeah, I had to like come to this being like my start music and then go into game music because you can't have like old, you can't have the old fucking sound, like old map without the old sound. Oh man. The house looking at 200,000 stars. Are we getting that close? Hold on. Uh, what are we at? We've got 200,000 stars. I, can, I thought you were talking about the goal. I'm like, good God. I can't believe you took the time to count them all. Jesus, that does explain why your fucking den's glowing like crazy. That's nuts. I will hydrate. I guess the question is, Viking, what do you want to do with your stars? Like, they're just kind of like, we'll kind of keep accumulating. I always kind of figured that, you know, if you ever wanted to redeem them and stuff, you know, um, it's just a matter of like coming up and dropping a star and then like something gets redeemed, you know. That's what I always sort of figured would happen. For hydrate rin. I need that. I haven't had a lot of water today. I did have a lot of water yesterday from being sick, but I've been mostly like asleep and focused today, so I didn't have much. I I definitely feel like 
I'm a little bit dehydrated still. But I should be fine by like the end of stream, you know. It's a happily serving wolf flush. You're shaking your head left to right. <laughs> I figure you're like I figure you're just gonna collect stars. I figure you're going to have the most stars, like the most pure from start to finish having found and like watched me to like you know infinity kind of thing which is nuts it's really nuts um i don't know if i want to jump into the swamp i hate the swamp i'll jump up here uh i guess the other thing too is like when i do like deep inhales and shit i guess can you guys hear those <laughs> Every so often I like do a really big inhale to try to prevent yawning. It doesn't always work, but I try it. I did that before, so let me know if anybody heard me actually breathing. God forbid. I guess that's something too. If like if a lot of like the small sounds and stuff aren't getting picked up, that should be fine. If I could just land on the roof. Thank you. Oh, that was beautiful. That was exactly where I wanted to be. The odds of fucking doing that. I couldn't do it again if I wanted to. But yeah, there's two guns up here and I sort of saw that. So, yeah. Also, how's your games going at Hospital Ren? I assume they have alleviated much boredom. I'm hoping they have at least. It says it's probably side whacking towel happily. Oh, snuggling wolf flush. No. I do want that. We'll get rid of that. That, give me that. That on there. Um, yeah, single fire, do that. And I need a backpack so I can actually carry some ammo. But I've got enough that if I have to shoot something... I love the fact that this didn't have a staircase in here. Like, it's just empty. That's all it is. It's just fucking empty. I have my laptop, so checking some games. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured... Oh, hello. Yes. I definitely do want that. That can get out of my inventory. Give me this, this, this. There we go. As I'm annoyed, I need to change streaming programs. To my knowledge and understanding, I believe what's happening with um, Twitch Studio is that at the end of the month, it won't be supported. There's somebody near me. I believe it won't be supported anymore, which means it should theoretically still work, right? But if there's a problem, there's no help with it. Just whatever happens, whatever is wrong with it, that's it. That's that's forever. Like, that's how I see it, right? Um, th there's a guy, like, just over here. So that's why I'm kind of like, because I already have issues with Twitch Studio as is, right? Like, I can't send an error report. I can't, um, I can't raid properly. I can't pin messages. Those are all really super trivial little issues. Well, apart from like the not being able to send an error message. I mean, that literally prevents me from getting help. But still, um, my worst case scenario with what's happening with the program is let's just say that at the end of the month, it actually is discontinued. Like it's just completely prevented connection, whatever. Right. There's a, there's a gamble that could be happening. Right? Probably less likely, but the fact that it could happen, I don't want to take the risk that, you know, I get to the end of the month and I don't have anything I can stream on. You know? That's how I see it. I'd rather have this up and running in place and basically almost one for one what I have already than get to the end of the month and be like, oh, I go to go live and I can't do anything. That's That's what I'm trying to do. Because the thing is, the other thing is that um, uh, when I want to stream Need for Speed Underground 2, I can't actually stream that through this yet because it doesn't pick up. Even when I force the window, the only way that it will work is if I capture my entire desktop, right? My entire, like, um, everything, right? And to me, that's a little bit too much. Like, I put all sorts of shit on my desktop. I also do not have the most, like, you know, stream-friendly desktop wallpapers. Like, you know, I'm a, I'm a fucking person, right? I've got lewd shit on there. Um, so, yeah, 
I don't really want to accidentally have a wallpaper swap over in the middle of winter and have some like set of tits flopped out or something, you know, and be like, oh shit, I get reported and banned. Like, oh fuck, you know. Um, I'm not saying like that specifically, but I know when summer comes around, that's fact. So yeah, like that's the last thing I need is to like forget and then do a stream or something in summer and be like, oh shit, I forgot about this. Um, but yeah. I, I'd rather have this up and running just in case in best case scenario is if Twitch Studio isn't pulled the plug on by the end of the month then I can still at least come back and do Need for Speed Underground and stuff through it until it's no longer <gasps> oh Jesus you're a fucking good shot uh yeah that was nuts that's a damn shot that works out happily smiling Wolf, uh, snuggling wolf flush. I see you gave Mathless a feather. I feel like he could do with it at the moment. Um, and I do need to sit up straight because I was prawning a little bit there. I don't think I can kill this guy. He's a really good shot and I can't see him, but I have to kind of keep running. So I'm just going to try to get over the hill. And hopefully I'll get enough of a distance. I knew that there was somebody else there and honestly if I was close enough proximity, I'd just DBS them and they'd be dead. If I could go around the corner and kind of sideways come in. Also, let me know if anybody heard the noise from down the hallway. There was a door that just closed. Let me know if anybody heard that. I need to know that. Um, Because, yeah. If it's not been picking up all sorts of shit in the room, it shouldn't pick up something down the hallway. But, mind you, I've had some times where something happens at a distance and it still picks it up. Uh, the biggest thing is, like, Nick's kind of, like, getting ready to go to bed at this time. You were able to hear it? All right. Uh, but not loud. Okay. I'll just have to let him know to shut stuff a bit quieter. That's all. Um, because I've already got it on the maximum, uh, suppression I can have. I wonder if it's in-game. No, no, it's in-house. Um, sometimes, like... Like, in the process of, like, getting ready to go to bed and stuff, like, Nick will go and, like, get something out of his car, which is basically, like, parallel sideways to me. Um, or, like, uh, I don't know, like, go between rooms and stuff like that. And usually the sounds of doors can be heard, but not that. Not that one, not usually. So it's good to know that it can be heard all the way up the hallway. <laughs> Because that also, oops, that also means that like Nick has to be a little bit quieter if this one doesn't suppress as well as Twitch Studio did. It's fine though. He's usually like, when I start streaming, he's getting ready for bed. And he's usually in bed after like, I don't know, um, an hour after I go live. It's fine because it's not loud. Without paying attention, you won't know. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's just like... What I'm talking about is um, if that's audible at this distance, then like if he goes to like have a snack or something like that, you're definitely going to hear like the microwave. You're definitely going to hear like cutlery, stuff like that. That's that's all I sort of mean is like it tells me the kind of level of sound transfer in the house is going to get picked up because like... Um, I'm like at the front of my house, right? And where Nick is, is kind of mid to towards the back of the house. So it shouldn't be picking up stuff all the way at the back of the house. You know, that's what I mean. Um, and my door is like half closed. I don't have any kind of like sound dampening stuff in here. I don't have any of that stuff yet. But uh, yeah, for the most part, Twitch Studio has really done very well with a lot of like the... Uh, what would you call it? I kind of like the fine tuning of sound stuff. Um, and I can't do that or I don't know enough about it yet with Streamlabs to get the same result here. But it's fine. This is why I'm asking so many questions and stuff. Whenever something happens, whenever I hear something, I'm just immediately like, can you hear this? Can I, Was that picked up? Like, I just want to know. Because for the most part, it probably wouldn't be noticed on Twitch Studio. It would probably still happen, but it's just good to know. 
It's like the training wheels of a new program. The other thing too is, Mirthless if you're still around, I guess the other thing too is that it's not just about having to set up a new streaming program, right? It's also, like I've personally had a year and a half experience and troubleshooting and all that sort of like knowledge of Twitch Studio. And now I'm a year and a half into streaming and a beginner at Streamlabs. So I kind of like have to come up to speed like super fast for what everybody's, well, not necessarily for what everybody's used to, but for what I expect from the quality of my stream at this point sort of thing. So oh, there's a car. So it's a bit of work. The other thing too is it's not just uh, like if you're streaming on OBS, if you're streaming on OBS and then no, that thing's junker. Um, and then you go to another program, it will import a lot of like the scenes and stuff that you already have set up. Layouts. Oh, there's a car in front of me. Layouts and other stuff. Um, but because I went from Twitch Studio to this, there's nothing to import. So I had to set up everything like, you know, the starting soon, the be right back, the different game layouts and stuff, all of that from scratch. Um, and then also figure out like bringing in the different sources like uh, what program is it supposed to pick up? What is a game? What is my avatar? Um, how do I get my drawing program to display without capturing an entire desktop? Like, stuff like that. Is somebody sitting up here? Just... Matt. Best thing is, I'm in a spot that you can't see. I could swim. I really could. I'm pretty sure he can probably figure out where I am. The smartest thing to do would be to... No, no, no. Don't do use... Do not use that. Uh, he's coming back. Do I have grenades? I do not. That kind of sucks. I got a DBS, and as far as I can tell, this guy doesn't. I want my healing now. I don't think he knows quite where I am. Going all the way back. I guess he's hoping to get a car. You look like you've got a decent fucking helmet. If he wasn't in the blue zone for so long, he wouldn't have been so easy to kill. Would have taken me at least one more bullet, which reminds me, put my gun down. It's going to take me a bit to get across here because I like the old blue zones that we're in. I don't know if anybody's noticed. You don't die as fast, which is kind of nice. Which reminds me, I haven't tried swimming. Fuck it, let's go. Uh, first up, boost it up. Boost it up and we'll go for a quick swim. I'm sure there's people over there. Oh, shit, that's not water. <laughs> shit, fucking... Oh, no, this is going to hurt. Oh, fuck. That was a mistake. I also don't have enough healing for what I'm about to do, but it's fine. I might just leave. If I can, in a moment, I'll leave these here. Leave my one extra ammo and stuff. Okay. When you're good, you're good. Yep. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Alright. Actually, there's a boat. Realistically, I should take the boat. How far around? Go around there. Somebody's just shooting at me. From back there, huh? There must be two people up there. Yep. Lucky. So lucky. Unfortunately... I am basically line of sight for these fuckers, which is unfortunate, but they're now in phase three. That's going to be interesting. They had a car. Uh, yeah, no. They're also riding snow wagon to Hubley. Oh, fucking you and your snow. Oh, I realized I was prawning again already and I'm like, I gotta sit up straight. The um, center of my shoulder blades has been hurting the last few days because I've been doing this. I've been setting up stuff. Um, so I've been like hyper focused in at my computer. I haven't been sitting up straight much. I sort of want to come in further around the corner, but I actually think here might be enough. I'm going to do it. I'm going to come in here. I sort of want to try to launch this. Nice. Perfect. Ooh, somebody's nearby too. 
Let's see first and foremost if these houses have some health. And then we might go say hello to that guy. For sure. I forgot these houses existed here. I love... I like the old, like, weirdly, like, specific other house locations. That was great. I don't actually need more ammo, but that's fine. Um, so, I do need a new vest. Fuck it. And I'll take the little backpack. I don't want this one. But, no, none of that. My helmet's still good, right? Um, need that. I think my helmet's still good. It's a shame this place doesn't actually have health. That would be amazing. Alright. So it didn't have anything good for that. And if I could... Come on. She got stuck on the door. And now she... There we go. She wasn't running for some reason. There's a can of energy drink in here and a health thing. That'll do it. Alright. So... And a better helmet too. Flash hider on. So take that. It helped me a little bit. God, I love how, like, shabby the old places are. Like, they're just kind of, like, run down. That would be better. Yeah, that is better. All right. Fuck it. Uh, put that on there. Give me more health. And yeah, I don't really need two stacks of that. I can't put this on any of them, but I'm not leaving it inside the building. All right. That gives me a far better chance to deal with whatever this guy is doing. I don't see anybody out the back and there shouldn't be anybody out across the water. So my thoughts are they should just be like up there somewhere. Right? Kind of got to go that way anyway. So let's see. Let's see if somebody's up here. I've got, I've got the old extreme close range and relatively long range. There'll be people at the bridge. The only problem with the bridge is that people come in across the bridge and then they'll turn. They'll try to get cover up here. This side is actually really barren. So not a lot of people come this way unless they've got a vehicle. Which of course the vehicle is its own fucking problem because you can get run over. Mind you, speaking of, there is a vehicle here. There's also one there. I could take the car and go for a quick lap. I don't think I'd live for very long. Fuck it, let's go. Let me grab you. There's also, also a bike. Who shot at me from where? Somebody had a go. You sound like you were over here. Something silenced, huh? Oh, back that. Alright. I'll go directly at the guy. How you get shot out of a car. Where are you? You've got to be one of these trees. There you are. Hi. Whoa, there's one behind me too. Mm. Oh man, I got hit. There's at least one other guy. Alright, hold on. Let me take cover for a second and get rid of this guy. There's a... Oh, there's a car coming up behind me too. I think that guy may have had like a decent scope. Or else there's snow. I can... Alright. So... You know what it's all? It's all on the ground. We've had like a few cats like hanging around lately. I think they belong to some of our neighbors and stuff, but they're like stressing the shit out of her. So, all we can do is try to like put her into a room with us where she can be like safe and shit. She just keeps sitting watch at doors. Now, I'm looking for a gift that barely exists anymore. What's the what's the type of gift if it's something that barely exists? Um, it's Atari. Yeah, that definitely barely exists anymore. It would also be probably either, if it's in good condition, expensive, not in good condition. What are you doing, darling? There we go. She's up on the desk now. I guess she's going for sleeps. If it's not in good condition, then yeah, who knows. I have a drink. There's all this up on the desk. She's all pori pori. Absolute mush. I can't wait till she gets like purry 
because she should pick up on the microphone a lot better. Nexty angry? Yeah. I guess, but I mean, if you're talking about like the old Atari like console type stuff, then yeah. A lot of people would have them these days. I heard somebody talking about their old like Pokemon cards. And they were like, they basically were telling the story about how they used to take care of their Pokemon cards because they didn't have like sleeves or folders or anything like that. And they're like, I thought that the smart thing to do would be to just like, you know, wrap it in sticky tape to the point where it like warped. And I just like the feeling of fucking pain that I experienced from that sentence was like, why would you do that to anybody else? Why would you tell people that? Um, but at the same time, like we had a shit ton of Pokemon cards, right? And like we kept them in folders and stuff. And that was great, except that when we were growing up, we had an elderly cat that I think kind of like maybe stroked out or something. And um, in the process, she like wet herself in the cupboard and obviously like pissed all over all of our Pokemon cards. So, like, nothing we can fucking do with that. They're in protective sleeves, but I mean, it still seeped in because it just happened to be the right angle to get everything. So, that sucked. A whole fucking entire collection of Pokemon cards just ruined in one moment. Um, and no, the cat did not, cat did not do well. That was kind of like her last day. Um, for obvious reasons, she was having a fucking stroke. Um, but still, that eat snow where I can tell happily. <laughs> I can. I don't know if the snow's got like enough to keep you sustained. You know, you gotta eat something else. You eat something other than that. Also, Azula's like thick with the sauce at the moment with the purring. I'll see if she can pick up on the microphone. Let me know if you guys can hear her. Hold on. Could you just hear that? Put the microphone back. She sniffed the microphone, so maybe. And she's back at it. She's back pouring. She's like super, super lost in it. It's not again, I can tell. It's so defiant, Viking. Yeah, she should have picked up. She should have been loud enough to have picked up at point blank. The question is whether or not it would have lowered the sound. I love that they brought the guns back, but I really remember that it's so fucking loud. Let me see if I can mark that. I'll come back to see if I can hear that later. Also, for some reason, the characters glow like this, which is really weird. I don't know if that's just something that used to be. I don't know. It's interesting. I'll say that much. All right. Well, Azula falls asleep, Viking eats some snow, and a wave that's just mutually angry about, like, trying to purchase shit. Let's see where I can drop. Let's see where I haven't dropped for a while. I'm not doing anything on this side. I don't want over here. Not there. Done that recently. I haven't done Pachinki yet. I did that. I haven't done runes. I did that. I think, yeah. I did that. I could do over here. I haven't done that yet. Let's go over there and see what the old place was like. <laughs> I am angry. No, I know. I I also was thinking about it last night while I was like getting ready for bed and I'm like, I also was remembering how you're talking about like your friend um, like dreaming about like the type of art that you did and stuff. And I'm like, it just was, it still just sat with me. It's like funny. Like I didn't mean to be like, oh, it's funny. That you're angry but it's more like it was more like um you know that somebody had a dream which they have like zero control over and like yeah that was that was frustrating kind of thing i don't know me i have dreams i take control of them it's part of lucid dreaming um so if i'm dreaming of something I mean, sometimes I just like zero control sit back and I'm just like a spectator to the whole thing. But the ones where I actually do get some, yeah, they, they're, they're weird enough. Um, no other helmet, give me that. Uh, hey, Macnell. 
I probably said your name wrong. Let me know how... You're going to have to help me through pronouncing your name. I'm fucking terrible with people's names. Or... Hold on. Somebody's coming in. Yeah, how you doing? Fucking welcome in. I'm so sorry I butchered your name. Um, it's just something I unfortunately do. Let's stop that over. Give me this. Is this on single fire? No, it is now. Let's put it back to not. Because somebody's like over here. I think that they're just around the corner. This poor wagon tower happily greeting. I still can't say it. Uh, Mac? Mac now? That's fine. You can call me whatever. Um, there's somebody over here and I don't know if they're in the things. Yeah, I'm just, I'm really bad at names. I sort of see it as like Mac now sort of thing. All right, let's go back away from that. And I'm kind of like on the edge here. None of these are climbable. None of them got stuff in them, I don't think. I think this was just kind of like a maze. Everybody went up on that thing from memory. So should be should be a bitch to get out of here, honestly. Let's see if I can. Hold on, wrong thing. Yeah. All right, look, I'm going to go for a run. See if I can get out of here, put my gun away. Um... And every single website I go to, it's like, oh my god, they have it. I can buy it. Oh, never mind. It's sold out. And it makes me so upset. The other thing you can do, hold up. Fucking hell. You can, depending on the site, set it to sort for in stock, available, or whatever. Like that kind of thing. Because that's a, usually a setting you can kind of choose when you're browsing, like shopping for something. The fuck did you go, man? Uh, Mac... Magnoma? Oh, shit. Hold on. Hi. Hi, mate. <laughs> Alright. So, Magnoma, he. Hen. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna have to practice that. Fuck. I can speak. I'm gonna have to practice 